And so Agatha Christie, uh, Agatha Christie. All right, just cut that part when you. <laughs> I love how I do that live on her. Just cut that part later. So Agatha Christie's... Co- Damn it. Why can't I... <laughs> this is a hard setup for this This is read, not but, Agatha uh, Christie, Brian? No, no. So Murder on the Orient Express <laughs> is coming out in this November. And that is a... Movie. Gosh, it's, a can... movie. it's a movie. It's a really movie. Scott movie. Yes, it's a movie. I know that Brian much. is being horrible. I... All right. So coming out this November, we have Murder on the Orient Express, which is the... What do we call that? It's a book ab- 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 oh, God, I can't talk tonight. I suck. It's a book Jeez. adaptation. You call it that, I guess. It's a book adaptation. Jeez, I'm just getting angry with myself for being so stupid about all that. Like, how do I not know what to say? All right, here we go. Boom, for real this time. And comment down below how stupid I look doing this over and over and over. All on the regular recording. Yeah, because uh, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad when I have to do it 15 times. Yeah, pretty bad. So coming out this November, get ready for Agatha Christie's at book adaptation of Murder on the Orient Express. And it's a movie adaptation. Damn it. It's not a book. A book. That would ah. be rather interesting for us to be doing. Ah. We're doing book reviews now, people. Book reviews. Book this reviews. This is the book based off the movie. Based off the book. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. But hey, so there's this movie coming out. It's called Murder on the Orient Express. It is an adaptation of the Agatha Christie novel, Murder on the Orient Express. Boom. All right. Done. Done with the original read. Now, I just actually saw about this recently. It actually had a trailer come out a couple months ago. But I, I saw this today because they released some new promotional material. And I just thought to myself, this looks like a movie I want to watch. I mean, it really does. Listen to this cast. The cast is amazing. Um, let me bring it up. Okay, so you have a ton of big names in this one. You have Penelope Cruz. You have Johnny Depp. You have Daisy Ridley from Star Wars, Michelle Pfeiffer, Judy Dench, Josh Gad, William Defoe, and Leslie Odom Jr., who is, I believe he was on uh, Hamilton or something, the Broadway play. So you have a stellar, stellar cast for this movie. And if you don't know what this movie is about, I don't really either. But apparently, they're traveling across Europe, I would imagine, on a train. And so this must be around the turn of the century, because they do mention in the trailer that they are on this train for days and days and days and days. So they, they haven't really done that since planes became a popular thing. So um, yeah, it probably takes place early, early 19th century. Wouldn't you guess, Brendan? Somewhere in there? Sure, why not? Considering the novel came century? out in 1934. Well, based off the, right the settings, it looks like, yeah, maybe mid 19th century. But it seems so. It's a murder mystery. Somebody gets murdered on this train. There is a, the world's most famous detective just happens to be on this train at the at the time, and he sets off to solve this movie. Uh, now, from the trailer, I gleaned that it's not going to be a super serious movie, but it's not going to be like a goofy movie. I, I kind of see this as a, a, a new Clue. Uh, now, if you would never saw Clue, that was a great movie. I absolutely love Clue, uh, especially it, the multiple endings. I, I would say that's the feel. Maybe a I little got. more serious. From the setup to the way that they showed, like, essentially the roles or the occupation for each of the characters as they went down in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, it did kind of seem like actually a, a board Clue. game or it a the princess, mystery the professor, so- or the a, doctor. Yeah. Or like a, you know, a murder mystery uh, theater, right? Um, that was the feel I got. So, yeah, and Clue was kind of along those lines, too. I mean, it was based off of. Was it based off a board game? Or was a board game based off the same, yes. same material? No, the, no, the 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 board the movie was based off the board game, so that was very interesting. <laughs> like the only good board game adaptation I've ever seen, and that's not the only one I can think of. Battleship also had an adaptation, but Murder on the Orient Express does look like it's going to be a Wait little bit tongue in cheek, but a little bit serious because there is one part where he literally says, "I am the world's greatest detective." Yeah, so I'm guessing that nobody they didn't see it in the movie. Movies. But I'm guessing that's um, that's Agatha Christie's. Yeah, well, no, but that's uh, Agatha Christie's um, main detective. I, f- I forget his name, but he is like he is actually a little bit uh, like uh, pompous, if I remember mm. from uh, her novels. So I am the world's greatest detective. Yeah, he kind of takes like vague shots, or she takes vague shots at uh, Sherlock Holmes in the stories that from time to time like mm. oh what do you think i'm gonna do get down on my hands and knees and look for clues ah oh, no i use my mind i am brilliant <laughs> i'm the greatest detective so i i'm actually looking forward to see this because this is a little bit of a change of pace from the movies we get i mean they i go out of my way to find stories i have to go out of my way to find stories that have nothing to do with marvel or dc it is really hard um and this is 
a movie that looks like it's going to breathe a little bit of fresh air to the what's coming out this November. Now, it's not that this is the first time this movie's ever been done. I believe there's been a TV adaptation. There was a movie in the 70s. And I want to say there's also been like radio show type, you know, things revolving around this this whole project but it is something that i'm looking forward to because if you do like the murder mystery genre and you want to have a little bit of lightheartedness i'm not sure how much lightheartedness again i'm just kind of basing things off of a little bit off of the trailer i think this is going to be a great movie to see i I don't know i'm actually excited to see it it does look from the trailer like they are doing a little bit of uh experimentation with how they're presenting this story at least which is interesting on its own like whether it's going to be mm-hmm. lighthearted serious whatever it, it is interesting that they're doing this i don't know from what i've seen that we're going to like what the the way that they're experimenting with with storytelling here but it'll you know I, i'm willing to give it a shot yeah. we'll see if they do a good and, job and, and it is a stellar cast uh just johnny depp in there he's a great actor i mean he's gone gone downhill a little bit but William Defoe, I love that guy Judy Dench is amazing Daisy Ridley's an up-and-comer Josh Gad not a huge fan of him Michelle Pfeiffer's in this one I mean so it is a stellar cast and, and it is a Ridley Scott like production good. too you know I don't oh, think he's directing I think he is producing it though but uh, so I mean it's that's Scott free a good sign as well so so that's yeah that's usually a pretty good sign um yeah. I am I'm looking forward to it I, I'm guessing they're also kind of a pushing this through and probably giving this a little bit extra star power and money because of um, Sherlock Holmes really. And the popularity of Sherlock Holmes. Cause well, especially Agatha, the Sherlock Holmes TV show that's been going on recently. Cause like I said, there, is amazing, so. there were long some like comparisons and uh, relations between uh, Agatha Christie's novels and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's uh, detective novels. So, so, Hey, maybe we'll, hers was uh, different take but similar vein like similar popularity and honestly i i've wanted to see some more stuff from from her kind of detective mm-hmm. especially now it makes sense too because we've kind of been trying to portray sherlock holmes more in this guy's vein of he's less running depending on the adaptation he's less running around and finding everything and more sitting in his room figuring everything out mm. but it depends on yeah, it depends. Like the movies, he actually was kind of just running around and sword fighting. Well, and the and TV show, he kind of runs around. He doesn't fight any. Well, he fights a couple of people, but not too much fighting. But he does kind of run around in the shows. Yeah, but the shows are just amazing. They're, they're masterpieces. Can't can't say anything bad about those. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Are you excited to see this movie? Have you read the book? Do you think it's going to be a great adaptation? Better or worse than Sherlock Holmes? Let us know. Comments down below. Always good ways to get a hold of us are.